Hi everyone. Let's solve this problem simultaneously. X plus Y equals 10. This is our equation 1. Then X, Y also equals 10 is our equation 2. Okay, to continue with this, we'll be having um, equation 3 from equation 1. So x is equal to 10 minus y. This is from this are equation 3 from equation 1. Now, since it's equation 1 that gave birth to equation 3, let's put this equation 3 into equation 2. So in place of this x, I write 10 minus y. Then this y outside is here. The whole of this is equal to 10. Now, 10 times y is 10y. y squared is going to be here. This is equal to 10. But 10y minus y squared is the same thing as minus y squared plus 10y. This is equal to 10. Now, let's, let me bring this to the left. So, we have minus y squared plus 10y minus 10 equals 0. Now we have um, y squared minus 10y plus 10 equals 0. What I've done is to multiply both sides or multiply all through by negative 1. So it will turn all the signs to the opposite. Now this is a quadratic equation and we are going to use the formula for this. The formula is y equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a right now y will be in place of minus b we'll write minus minus 10 because this negative here is out and b itself is minus 10 then plus or minus b is minus 10 so we have minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 this is because a is 1 and c is is positive 10 so we divide by 2 times 1 now our y is going to be minus by the way it turns to plus 10 because negative negative is 10 then plus or minus minus 10 squared the negative will go because minus 10 in brackets squared is the same thing as minus 10 times minus 10. Negative, negative will turn to positive, so we have 100. So I will do the same thing here as I have 100. 4 times 1 times 10 is 40. Then we divide this by 2. Now let us continue so that y will be 10 plus or minus this um 100 minus 40 will give 60 then we divide by 2 right now if we continue this 60 can be broken into simpler form so y is 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15 then divided by 2 So y now is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then we have root 15 divided by 2. Right? So to continue from here, our y will now be 2 into this is 5. Then plus or minus 2 will go into this 2 again. So we have just root 15. So this is a 2 in 1 solution because y will now be 5 plus root 15 or 5 minus root 15. Now remember that we had equation 3 before and that is x equals 10 minus y. Now let's use this value of y, this particular one. So x will now be 10 minus open bracket. You must open the bracket because whatever we have now stands for the y. So we write 5 
plus root 15. So our x, now we're going to open the bracket. So we have 10 minus 5 minus root 15. So x will be 10 minus 5 is 5. Then we have root 15. So from here now, we can say that when... Okay, so we can say that when x is equal to 5 minus root 15, y is equal to... Um, y is 5 plus root 15. Okay, now let's get another pair of um, solution. We still have y, the second value of y is, is um, 5 minus root 15, right? And our x from equation 3 is 10 minus y. So to go ahead now, our x will now be 10 minus open bracket. So y now is 5 minus root 15. So that our x will be 10 minus 5. Negative times negative is positive. Then we have root 15. So our x now is 10 minus 5 is 5. Then we have plus root 15. So if we want to continue, that means we'll bring the more the other solutions together. So when x is equal to 5 plus root 15, our y is equal to 5 minus root 15. Okay? Just like we have from there, you can take a look at that. So by this, we have solved the problem into detail. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos. Thank you.